it looks like some kind of a crappy northern god of oceans or whatever is gonna grab our best friend and sink him. So I think this will work good enough. Happy life hack for you. So if you jack your plastic table like me with your saws, man, actually I didn't realize how far I went with the circle. So, but this is pretty much mostly jigsaw. Makes for a really good like wire holder because it stays here pretty good. It doesn't come out on the floor. So. There you go. Need a base. Because obviously I'm not making like a full on boat. So this is going to be it. Come in here. And we'll do the, some kind of a, like a semi-circle here or something. True Viking would probably put this together with no nails and just an axe but as a true Slav. Alright, so I'm running into a technical difficulty. My plan was to use my quarter inch plywood and like bend it against the side. But it snapped as you can see, so it doesn't. But here we go. Check this stuff. Come on, stay now. Fits. Excellent. So I think we're ready to go. A friend of mine said that it will not float, but pretty sure it will now and not tip over. I'm gonna go test it in the pool. Of course it will float. Granted, it's going a little deeper than I thought it would. I'm gonna leave it outside now to dry the cardboard out, so we'll leave it in the sun for later. Let it, we'll let the boat sun tent over here. Hopefully nothing will get too wet and snap. Consideration and a lot of math with my science team, I decided to add a base and a third outrigger. Otherwise it looked too much like Plesiosaurus and it's just not a cool animal. So let's go test it one more time, make sure it doesn't sink too much and stays level. Ride to death. Test two. Let's see. Oh. Why is it tilting so much? I'm not exactly Floki, am I? All right, I gotta think about this now. Come on now. The project where you think it started off as a fun idea and next thing you know it's starting to get a little too serious and taking too long. Yeah, I'm there. But let's go try it again. I added some stuff. Death ride with a cutie. Oh, Viking board with a cutie, whatever. Test number three. It just won't stay. I think it's getting worse. I added these things on the bottom to stabilize it, but it just won't stay level. I'm not really sure what to do. Plus it fell off my table and half the oars broke. So, I don't know. How, why does it not stay straight? Maybe these are the wrong angle? I have no idea. I ran my failure with deep interest. Yep. Uh, I got a little piece because it was listing, so we're gonna add it to the side that's dropping and see if it'll level it out now. We're getting pretty dumb. So at this point, there's only one thing left to do, and it's resort to the classic old Russian technique, cheating. I suck, inspecting. All right, I think this is my fifth attempt. I didn't have any balloons, so I made some gloves. I don't, let's see if it... All right, well, we're getting there. It floats better. It's not even at all. It looks like uh, some kind of a crappy northern god of oceans or whatever is gonna grab our best friend and sink him. So I think this will work good enough. Although the flames will probably pop it right away, but then it'll all sink and put itself out pretty quick, which is not a bad thing. So that's how it's gonna be. All right, so technically, well, it kind of sometimes, oh, that might've been its last one. I just turned it on and it worked. And I think now it's official. It's no more. We're gonna start our day with a uh, Ace Guava. It's afternoon now. I'm done with power tools, so and I need to make four more crappy balloons because I tested the sander that sunk pretty badly. So cheers. Just turn all this into a worthy sacrifice. So we're gonna make some Russian kebabs out of it. Question my life choices, but it is a lovely day outside. 
third cider, it's probably chill. We'll go start the charcoal smoker. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's try the sander. We'll pretend that never happened, but we gotta do science. Come on, don't 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 drown. Yes. Great success. Oh, oh, water's getting in. All right, so that means we're not gonna have that much time. I'll see if I can maybe figure something else out. So, what do you think? No, you can't even swim anymore either. All right, I think this is the best we're gonna do. We're gonna have to set it on fire quick. What, what are you wagging your tail for? All right, so the struggle continues. We're not gonna make the boat. I don't wanna add any more floats. So we're gonna do the old Russian technique of cheating again by using the lesson from Colin Chapman from Lotus. Simplify and add lightness. So we'll go like this. I'm gonna see if I can take this off so that it kinda looks, I mean, you can't really tell. So I think I'm just gonna go with that. I got stuff I need to cook. But this is pretty heavy. It's kinda neat though. We it's a conception. What are they called? Got some bacon cooking off, then I've added some onions and then some sausages. We'll cook all that off. Add rice and seasoning and make some rice peel off over here. Semi-Russian style. I don't have all the Russian seasoning, but it's still good. And I'll show you what's happening in the grill sometime later. Added some rice, I don't know how much, I just kind of add some. And then as it'll absorb the water, we'll just add more water. I've got some chicken stock in here. Oh, which is a Mr. Robot over there. So I'm gonna turn the camera off for now. But it smells good. First I did some adobo, because it tastes good. Now I'm adding some curry powder. I don't know anything about like flavors or nothing, but I just pick by the color, whenever the color is good. Usually it tastes all right. So that's my Russian science way of how to cook. People seem to like it, they keep coming back, so let's keep on cooking. What's happening on the grill now, this pork shoulder right here, this is gonna be going on the rice. I'll cut it up so that's over the charcoal, everything else is being smoked. You guys, Genesis, my first woodworking project or my jigsaw project. Used clear coat on this because you know you're supposed to use clear coat, but for signs, I don't know, this thing yellowed pretty bad and it's been hanging outside this hole. However, it's been out here about a year or so. That sign's been outside a while. I've experiment with your stuff, don't listen to no one. As long as you save somewhat at least, you know, safety at least third. So good. Man, that is the American way right here. Alright, I'm gonna take these off, the rest can keep on smoking. Occasion we're gonna dress up in my finest Viking tank top, and if it gets cold, of course we have our finest Viking hoodie, but it's almost dark now, so we gotta start getting ready. Just before it's too late, we're just finishing off the stuff over hot or cold real quick. Crisps up a little more. I took some sausages off to add them to the rice. There we go some it's sweet hot Italian chorizo, chicken, some Russian bananas. Yep, no nothing on them. They're amazing as it is. I like them just straight up with ketchup. It's really really good. More Russian bananas, and we got of course some sweet potatoes. Too, just, you know. Yeah, look at that color. And the second hand. So though, look at this color. I mean these are I think these are organic, but I mean it's just it's so good. If you never tried it, try it. It's just oh. So this is kinda how it is now. So there's a little bit of beans there. I forgot about frozen vegetables, so I did some it's like corn, green beans and some stuff. And I like to serve it kinda like this with some marinated pork shoulder grilled on top over the rice, and I did add some of that. You can see like right here, there's chunks of pork shoulder just glistening. So yeah, good stuff. Got the fire started here. It's, oh, 
Shit, what have I done? All right, close enough. It kind of wasn't a good sunset, but we're ready for send off, so. All right. Floating? Yes! Alright. Let's set it on fire now. Some fire arrows at it, but we're gonna just do it. We're gonna just cheat. How bad of an idea is this really? He's alright. Should probably get something that it doesn't float away from us too far, huh? Pretty much the dumbest thing. Oh. Yeah, I was expecting that, so that's fine. Oh. There, goes one. there you go. There it goes. You gotta send it off. <laughs> I don't want to send it too far. If I knew an Icelandic song, I would sing it now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your gloves are melting. Right, this is pretty much the oh. Yeah, I was expecting that. Oh. There goes one. There you go. Sock is uninterested. Do I see your bike fire or a poison? Bottom of the sea now. Awesome. It's creeping over here. Look how sad it looks now, though. But the boat is good enough for another one, I think. Should we save it? Yeah, I think so. Because yeah. I'm gonna go throw it to dry out over here. <laughs> Probably should go get the the thingy to fish this crap out. <laughs> Not as bad as I thought the damage would be, so a little underwhelming, but we don't want that black smoke everywhere. Come on. Probably shouldn't be holding the phone over the water. A funeral for my phone here too. What do you want, Suck? 